Hi, my name is Jim Din. I'm president of the Samanid Association of Eastern Newfoundland. The association started in the late 1979. The association's been doing an incredible amount of work on conservation for Atlantic salmon and brown trout and brook trout. Now, overall, you're, you're looking at protecting a resource for the next generation and uh, having something there for uh, you know my children, my grandchildren. Sadly, in, in uh, the last 30, 40 years, we've noticed a significant decline in salmon populations. Now, as our stocks start to dwindle, we want to practice safe catch and release. The other thing about uh, saying is about the education piece and, and, and awareness. We have engaged hundreds of individuals over the past few years in how salmon reproduction works and how habitat quality in the watersheds affect egg hatch success. Well, we have river talks where we'll have speakers come in and talk about various rivers, uh, how to fish them, where to fish them. Well, we're going to discuss some aspects of catch and release salmon fishing. Okay, well, here we have three male brown trout in their spawning coloration. These are typical looking brown trout. But again, this is a, uh, a female salmon who's about ready to spawn. As you can see in the background, uh, we introduce people to uh, fly tying, uh, fly casting, but we're all, uh, our primary purpose is to promote conservation and that's the thing we're most proud of. It's very important for people to get involved. We're always looking for new members, a uh, variety of members, younger members uh, <coughs> that can help us carry on a lot of the projects. It's part of the culture in Atlantic Canada and it's protecting that culture for future generations that's so important. Watch for a two-part series this spring on the Simonon Association of Eastern Newfoundland and its partners and our conservation efforts in the province to preserve our wild Atlantic salmon stocks. For more information on our organization or to join, visit us at the link below.